Hey guys, my name is Yipa Galaga, and welcome back to Death and Taxes. Last time we left off, I Thanos snapped the universe, and we restarted uh, with New Game Plus. So I keep all of my little trinkets and stuff, including my little snow globe that tells me if I'm doing right or if I'm doing wrong. So let's just get on with our day now. Uh, Eco Watch shark numbers increasing after the death of famous restaurant owner. Coincidence? I think not. Uh, teledata. Whoops. Master Chef to start a new competitive cooking show titled The Exquisite Eats. Disaster relief responds quickly and efficiently to southeast Cosmopolis City after powerful hurricane makes landfall. Alchemist found suffocated in their own lab. Whoops. Uh, vast advances being made in research of reusable fuel cells. Researchers credit young talent involved in special project. Another family in poverty after joining a multi-level marketing scheme. What do we got? What are you doing? Uh, morning room. We seem to be on the precipice of dark times. I am a blah blah blah. Fuck you. Also, we discover fate is a bit of a bigly 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 bitch. What the fuck? Turn that light off. Nope. No, 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 the lamp. The lamp. There we go. Jesus. Alright, uh, sorry, so, oh, um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'll live, why not? Okay, that wasn't good, apparently. Um, uh, you die. Hey, that was good, I remember that. Um, a minister, Yvette Verninda, 46 minister. Yvette has taken upon themselves a great set of responsibilities in a field they lack knowledge of. Those decisions that matter, Yvette tends to fumble gloriously, yet they do try to better themselves according to criticisms from the public, even though they don't un often understand most of that either. Um... Die? Die. Die? Die. Die! <laughs> uh, Bjorn Orter. Um, boop. I'm killing a lot of people here. Three people are dying. Uh, Harrison Stewart, 73, a mysterious capitalist. You look good for 73, I'ma just say that now. No one knows much about Harrison, their history and identity are both mysteries. Often they are seen moving around in a wheelchair, barely speaking a word to anyone, although it is known they once helped a lost detective. You can live. Oh, oh. okay. Uh, Raz Rush, Rush, Raz Rushed. 53 Banker, Rash, Raz, I don't know how to pronounce that name, apparently. A widely celebrated economist is called the preeminent expert in market manipulation. For the past decade, they've appeared on many television programs, advising people when and where to invest their funds. Okay. Live? Live. That was bad. Anderson Weller, 46 economic consultant. Anderson has saved countless of businesses from going completely bankrupt, yet the only, only business they can't seem to save at all for someone that an unfathomable reason is their spouse's DVD slash CD rental shop. It just steers into failure all the time. Liv, you seem fine, right? And Jean... <laughs> okay, Jean Baptist Cortine, 70, retired. Jean Baptiste is a retired carpenter and a veteran of the Lonago military conflict at the Marisola Peninsula. For years, they have had to deal with bouts of PTSD, which they've managed to alleviate in their twilight years by painting and composing melancholic folk songs. They run a successful investment firm on the side. Live! I'm trying to make the world a better place here, and I'm probably failing drastically. Ah, uh, Grim Mail, what do you want? Um, what's that? What do we got here? Do we need better PTSD care? Yes, we do. Respected financier uh, publishes a book of romantic poetry. Critics baffled. Yeah, co the economy mysteriously getting better. Uh, MLM recruiter demonstrates company's flagship Superjuice poison self. Uh, 
consultant driven to a mental breakdown after not being able to save a local DVD slash CD rental shop. Bewildered minister stumbles off a cliff into the ocean during photo shoot. Read our preview of the soon to be released expansion to Peacecraft. It's going to be a life changing event. Excessively sedentary games, uh, gaming lifestyle leading to an increase in health issues. You mean gaming is not good for you? Titus Grown 33 retired. Titus is the latest heir of a noble pedigree. As such, they managed to retire young due to all the inherited wealth. These days, they spend their time lounging listlessly in constant ennui. Live? Live. 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 Ah, that was bad. But not terrible? Uh, thanks. Sanskar Lanjwani, 41, kitchen manager. Sanskar is a lonely person, going through a rough patch in life, and have thus become much sloppier when it comes to checking if new hires are trained on food preparation and proper kitchen safety techniques. They've got better things to think about. Besides, what could go wrong? I'll kill you off. Um, Holland Negan, 30 by a uh, burglar. I'll let this, I'll let him live this time. Oh, that was a bad idea. Okay. Valdemar Serge, 28. You do not look 28 with those eyebrows. Make down artist. Uh, Valdemar's has made being terrible at everything their central artistic and performance performative thesis. Through this act of self-referential rebellion, they have actually grown very popular in accordance with the current climate. Live? Live! Uh, Brian Kalafanakos, 31, janitor. Raking leaves is hard, blowing them around with a leaf blower is much more fun. Yeah, you die. Uh, and finally, Armin left a 35, hairdresser. There's nothing Armin likes to do more than gossip. Working as a hairdresser provides ample opportunity for this hobby. Due to memory issues, Armin occasionally starts gossiping about the client they're currently in the process of working on. They. Alright. Even. 3-3 three, three split. Ooh, cloud, 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 cloud. That wasn't so good, was it? What? What did it's he do okay. wrong? We can figure it out. Make it We're... work. It's fine right now. Been clear like the azure pond at the forest glade. Yeah, I can do this. I can do this. You were born for this. That's what fate keeps telling you, ain't it? I was born for this. It's yeah, like a surge in your spine. A faint echo of a perfect chord. It's very close, Grand Jupiter. Be seeing you. Hmm? Yes, yes you will. I hope I get to kill Grim. Or, not Grim Fate, one of these days. One of these days. One of these days I will become... Fate. Even though I can't work a goddamn elevator. Three and humans were there. Uh, uh, yeah, it's fine. Uh, bad hair days increasing in frequency after death of a local hairdresser. Crack a dawn leaf blower dead after getting struck in the head with a flat iron. Leaf blower should be banned. Kitchen boss, a fancy local restaurant found dead at home. Chicken flu suspected. Examiners on scene find resentful letter promising to make them pay. Uh, existentially new wave of artistry strikes local scene. Alright, what do we got? Ryu. Masahige Onilanzo. 66 engineer slash musician. Part-time scholar, part-time engineer, and part-time musician who delights in building their own musical er, instruments out of scrap and spare parts. Live. Should be good for the local environment. Uh, why does this picture look different than the others? Uh, Kyo Akihito, 62, Farmer. 
Kiyo has lived in four different countries, finally settling down at the Sun County Wine Region, where they now work as a uh, viticulturist. They enjoy fast food, cooking, and horse riding, and have seven grandchildren who visit, visit often. You can live. Uh, Franklin Haver, 35, pilot. Franklin considers himself a hotshot pilot, having modeled their demeanor after an action movie they saw at a young age. Top Gun. They wear large sunglasses all the time, drive around on a motorcycle, and attempt reckless stunts in their aircraft. Top Gun. I'll live. Live. Eh, things still look good. Ah, uh, Mercury is gonna die. Uh, Alora Harnack, 21, choir singer. Laura is a professional singer who joined the church choir at their local town. They offer their singing skills to the church, partly to be more devout and partly to have better access to the church wine cellar. Ooh, you don't look good for 21. Live? Die. Oh my god, it's, it's alive. The dove is alive. Grim, ah, yes. You have allowed too many to live. However, I do not have the time to harangue you further at the moment. An emergency has occurred, and I must depart for a couple of days. All right, I'll report to your cat again. Yes, you will be... Uh, how did you know I was going to say that? Never mind. It means you are thinking ahead and up to the task. Now, I must go. Meow. <laughs> Meow to you too. They probably didn't say any shit. A uh, noted motivational speaker commits suicide in jail, cause of arrest to be revealed soon. A uh, foolhardy pilot buzzes air traffic control tower, gets fired immediately, and banned from flying any aircraft for at least 20 years. Weather report windy and dry days ahead. Where are the bees disappearing? Not the bees! So, last time I killed this plant, it seemed to have caused issues, so let's just let it live. Not good. Ooh, this guy can live. Uh, this guy can live. I'll live. It's grass. I'll let it live. I'll let all of the plants live. Except for this one. Kali is a pink rounded clump of branch tangled stems. Die. Oh! <laughs> oh no, what have I done? What have I done? All alone, Reaper. Power at your fingertips. It's electrifying. On your own. You know why? <laughs> because they're setting you up. Mm hmm. They try. Um. Why would they do that? I know who. I know who. I know why. Because you'll never be good enough. You don't have what it takes to succeed. You're a void. Well, that's harsh. You're just trying to rally me. I am. Keeping you on your toes, right? It's necessary. Eyes like a lighthouse, Reaper. Watch your back. What, this again? Be seeing you. All I saw was my freshly recharged lights. That's all. Well, not. Those two aren't freshly recharged. <laughs> I gave. I'm giving her the gift. Oh my god. <laughs> she pats the chew toy with her paw. Her eyes growing wide. Her eyes grew wide. Cool, cool. Nothing ominous here. <laughs> uh, the cat eyes the gerbil. It completely ignoring my presence. Squeak. The toy gives out a sad noise as you make your way out the door. Oh wait, was that gerbil alive? Is that toy alive? <laughs> I just killed something, didn't I? Grim, what did you do? The plant department is complaining my ear off because of an explosive mega-growth. Their words, that took place at the tropics. Our obligation is to bolster order, remember, even in nature. Hey man, I'm not, uh, I'm not in the plant department. New trees planted in a local- uh, Bees on the verge of extinction again. <clears throat> oh! Invasive species of weed take over local farmlands. Farmers move cattle to barns while burning the weed. 
Okay. Isling Pole, 29 seismologist. Uh, when just a kid, Isling went through a terrifying earthquake. Obstinate by nature, they decided to confront their fear by studying to be a seismologist. These days, they lead a research team at the Mountain Head Earthquake Monitoring Station. You can live. Oh, thank God. Uh, Ashaki Conroy, 30, landscape architect. Ashaki loves nature and enjoys planning, so they decided to put these two together. Their main expertise, the main expertise is in environmental restoration, reintroducing balanced habitats into abandoned industrial areas. They're an avid drawing enthusiast, often seen sketching wildlife and pencil art. You can live too. Uh, Rufus Ben Susan, 63, retired. Gone are the days of descending into the darkened depths of deep caverns, drill in hand, but Rufus remembers them fondly nonetheless. It was a time of danger, but also of exploration and accomplishment. Now retired, Rufus, spe Rufus spends all their time in an old folks' home, dispirited. Die? Hey! And then a cosmologist, Ayasha Moore, 38. Ten years, Ayasha has spent gazing through a powerful telescope at the stars across the universe. Bit by bit, they've become ever more convinced that the whole world is actually some sort of a simulation, a realistic reproduction crafted in binary. I don't know. Die? Die! Ah, no. Yes, and I'm making fate happy, so I'll get money. Maybe I can buy an eraser. Eh. Well, no, come back. <clears throat> Psst. Hey, we don't like what we see. It's suspicious. What's suspicious? All of it. The profiles, the tasks, the chats. Too clean, pristine. <laughs> what a wreck. Listen to us, Reaper, not the others. Yeah, yeah. Listen to me. To me! Shh. They're probably eavesdropping right now. Let's be on. What's the deal with the mirror? <laughs> Lady Pottington has a cat. As you enter, the cat is whacking the true toy aggressively with her paws. Squeak, squeak, the toy cries in the most despondent voice possible. Uh, you sure enjoy bashing that toy. Meow, the cat admits, and let's fall another hammer blow onto the toy. Squeak, the little gerbil responds in pain. The toy doesn't seem to enjoy you bashing it, though. The cat stares at you, her eyes narrowed. Squeak, the little gerbil complains. Huh? Slowly, the cat rotates her head while continuing to stare right at you. It almost looks like there's a ghostly mist jiffous grin on her face. With majestic grace, the cat lowers her head onto a pile of documents. Meow, the cat notes while casually twirling around on her spot, pawing at the table. I'll take this to mean that I'm doing well. The cat carelessly stretches and shakes herself, seeming more or less pleased. A swift nod towards the door, with her head, makes it clear you should be leaving. Again. Many lives saved as dedicated researcher warns Cosmopolis City in the nick of time. Science community calls to increase funding of the Mountainhead. Lives will be saved. Fire at the Estrarium Assisted Living Facility claims one life. Deserted sand quarry turned into an ecological sanctuary attracts rare bird species. Microscale steam mechanics could unlock access to a brand new dimension and possibly destroy the world. Latest research, several local gambling dens run by radical criminal organizations. What do you want? Uh, da, da. Ah. All right, what do we got? Nurse. Uh, Zequin de Almeida, 26, nurse. Zequin works at the Cosmopolis Center of Biomedicine, a research hospital which, in addition to patient healthcare, also analyzes many rare and dangerous toxins and substances in their high security wing. They're also a fan of gambling and have lately accrued accrued many debts. You can live. Yep, that was good. That was good. That was good. Simple. Uh, Ingold Vala, 29, field worker. Uh, Ingold works on a farm where they do the usual farm stuff. They used to work at a high-stress economics position, but got really sick of the anxiety and decided to swap it out for some tranquil manual labor. It was a pretty pointless job anyway. 
live? I'm doing good, I'm doing good. A farmer, William Drumk, 41 farmer, like I said. William escaped into the city when younger, trying to get into the acting business. After numerous failed attempts, they returned to their homestead and read through several generations worth of farming tomes. Lately, they've grown more interested in bioengineered crops. Live? Oh, that was good. That was good. 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 Anita Lee, 25, paramedic. Fearless, intrepid, audacious. All these words are fit to describe Anita. Recently graduated into a paramedic job, they enjoy rushing into any dangerous situations to provide any medical assistance as quickly and efficiently as possible. Live! Uh, Hayden B. Blackburn, 41, field researcher, geology. Hayden is a geologist who is adamant in their belief that microscale steam mechanics are totally doable. They dream of creating a microscale model steam train by using the soon to be available technology. Live. What is this? Uh, Michael Batar, 40, postal clerk. Uh, yeah, okay. Um. I'll kill this guy. One dead. <laughs> I'm not even listening to that. Or I'm not even reading that profile. Woo. Look at the march of death. Bones of the living ground into dust. What are you talking about? A dust storm that suffocates any remaining breaths. What? Gaze upon what you have brought, instrument of pain. What do you mean? Things are going well. Don't you think this whole business is remarkably dehumanizing? Well, that's kind of the point you're supposed to be killing. Uncaring office of eternal bureaucracy, picking and choosing lives. It's efficient, I'll give it that. What makes you think you're... know that... They are getting it right. Throwing out innumerable rules and quotas with no oversight whatsoever. And do you think I should do something? We should. Shouldn't we? I could become fate. Let us know if you come eye to eye with a solution. Good seeing you. Alright. Hello, Grim. The world is a wondrous thing you would not believe. Uh, meet Yonanita, the medic who saved many lives after the recent earthquake. All thanks to the warning from Mountainhead, they exclaimed before scurrying away. Drum crops uh, raking in ma massive amounts of money after patenting high tech nano augmental corn, muscling out local farmers in order to achieve market dominance. Alright. What do we got? Oh, this guy. Christopher Quinn, 21, biology student. Christopher is extremely interested. Uh, live this time? Okay, that was positive. That was a big gust of wind. Uh, Philip Harms. This guy kind of looks like Philip DeFranco. What's up, you beautiful bastard? 20, student. Philip is a very random guy, meaning they enjoy chaotic and odd behavior. For example, they love playing pranks, their friends, and conducting occult rituals. They also have... Yeah. Sorry, Philip DeFranco, you're dead. How did that disrupt the peace? Uh, Raza Gilroy, 63, priest. Raza has tried to be a stalwart guide to the spiritually lost for over 40 years. They've always been open-minded towards philosophical criticisms. Now, in their old age, are growing doubtful about religion in general. They're also suspicious of the fundamentalist dogma that's been slowly creeping into theology. Lith? Seems like a good decision. Seems like it was a good decision. Uh, Eswari Shah, 35, a preacher. Eswari found religion after hitting rock bottom, after selling a family clock, or, you know... Live! Uh, Ciara Lopez, 29, attorney. Ciara is still 29, but already a hotshot lawyer. They're most famous for winning a case and getting the victim's family to pay damages to a drunk driver who killed their son. They will always find a loophole and prevent... Die! And Gwendoline G, 30, network engineer. Gwendoline is not exactly sure when their career as a network engineer stagnated. 
It's definitely not what they dreamed of doing with their life, but they're barely just content enough, and their large family depends on their income. Live. Oh! Do I have an eraser? Please tell me I... No, I don't have an eraser at all. For me. I'm curious. Hang on. Now... Now, what does this say? It still hasn't changed at all. Alright, I'm gonna leave this video off here. I didn't seem to accomplish much. It's kind of hard to tell. Um, if you like what you saw, hit that like button. If you are new here, hit that subscribe button, and I don't care if you hit the bell. If you have any tips, thoughts, suggestions, anything like that, leave them down in the comment section below. I really would like to create a utopia here, but, you know, it is what it is, I guess. I can just keep playing this forever and ever. I'll turn this channel into a death and taxes channel. Nah, that probably wouldn't get, uh, get off the ground anyway. Um, if you want to follow me on any of my other social medias, Instagram, Twitter, you want to follow my Twitch channel or join my subreddit, links are all in the description down below. And uh, yeah, I will see you guys later.